Good morning, boys and girls. We are on page 71, lesson 13, homework. Make sure you are on the correct page. Today we are doing conversions. Conversions are numbers that we are converting to a different unit. So for an example, they give you an example here. They are converting weeks to days, okay? We know that in one week, there are seven days, right? So if you notice here, they're multiplying. They want to figure out how many days are in six weeks. So we're going to multiply six weeks times seven days, and that's going to give me how many days there are, which is 42 days. Our problem number B, our problem letter B, sorry, we are converting years to days. So I'm going to make sure I'm converting seven years to days. So I'm multiplying seven years, and they're multiplying one year. This part is not necessary, but they have that stuff there. So they have seven years, and you're going to multiply that times 365 days to figure out how many days there are in seven years. So right here, I am going to multiply. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 7 times 6 is 42, plus 3 is 45. 7 times 3 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. So right here we have 2,555 for our days, okay? Now we're going to move on to problem C. For problem C, we have convert meters to centimeters. So we're going to change meters to centimeters. What that means is I am going to get, I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So I'm going to multiply times 100. So I, they want me to convert 4.5 meters. So I have 4.5 meters and I'm multiplying it to 100 centimeters because I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters to find out how many centimeters I will have. So when I multiply, I know that 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Bring down my 0 because I'm multiplying in my tens place. 4 times 0 is 0. I almost wrote 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. And then I'm going to add everything together. I have 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0. 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 and bring down my 4. I know that I need to move my decimal over once because if I were to estimate, right, 4 times 100, I would get 400. So my number should be around in the hundreds place. So my final answer is 450 centimeters. Now for problem D, they want you to convert pounds to ounces. We know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. And they want to find out how many ounces are in 12.6 pounds. So I'm writing down 12.6 pounds and I'm multiplying times 16 ounces to figure out how many ounces are in 12.6 pounds. So now I am multiplying. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Am I on the right page? Yes. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Bring down my 0. I'm moving this up because I'm running out of space already. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 1 is 1. I'm going to add everything together, okay? 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Make sure you're moving your decimal over once, okay? So we have 201.6 as our final answer for ounces, okay? Now I'm going to make sure that I move my paper up so you guys can see. For my next problem, they're asking me to convert kilograms to grams, okay? So right here, they want me to multiply 3.09 times 1,000 kilograms because I know that 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams and they want me to convert it to grams. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3.09 times 1,000 kilograms. I'm getting this number 1,000 from my conversion right here. Now I'm going to multiply these numbers together. I have 3.09 times 1,000. Now, 
I've told you before, you can multiply when you have a number like 1, you can multiply 309 times 1, which is going to give you 309. And then you're going to add three zeros at the end. 1, 2, 3. Now remember, if your answer or your problem has, you move over twice for your decimal, then you're going to do the same for your answer. So in this case, I'm going to move my decimal over two times. So my final answer is going to be 3,990 grams. Okay, now we're going to do problem F. Problem F asks you to convert yards to inches. This one is really tricky, and there is two reasons why. One, because they want you to go from yards to feet and then feet to inches. So first, I know that one yard is equal to three feet, and I know that one feet is equal, excuse me, one feet is equal to 12 inches. So I have 245 yards, and I'm going to multiply that times three. I'm going to multiply three feet first. Okay, so right here I have 245 times three. Five times three is 15. Three times four is 12, plus one is 13. Three times two is six, plus one is seven. So I get 735 feet. Okay, with 735 feet, I'm going to convert that into inches. So I'm going to multiply times 12 in order to figure out how many inches I am going to have. So now I have 735 times 12 inches. And I don't have a lot of room, as you can see, so I'm going to move this a little down. And I'm going to white out this so I can use it for room. I'm going to draw my lines so that I don't get confused when I am multiplying because this is a lot of place values. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Bring down my 0 because now I'm multiplying in my tens place. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 7 is equal to 7. I'm going to add all of my numbers together. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12, 4 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 8, 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. So I get 8,820 inches is my final answer, 8,820 inches, okay? Uh, remember, if you ever need to pause because I'm going too fast, you can always click the pause button so that it can slow down, and once you finish writing, then you can play, pause if you need to pause, play if you need to play, okay? Now I'm going to turn the page. We are on page 72. Make sure you guys are on the right page. So um, for this one right here, they ask you to convert the number of hours today, and they ask you to, after solving, write a statement to express each conversion. So they want you to make sure that after you solve, you're writing a statement to express the conversion. And then the first one is already done for me as an example. So the first one right here says, to convert the number of hours in a day to minutes. I know that in one day, there are 24 hours. So they are multiplying 24 times 60 minutes in order to get 1,440 minutes. That's how many minutes there are in a day, okay? Now, for the next problem right here, for problem B, it says here, a newborn giraffe weighs about 65 kilograms. How much does it weigh in grams? So they want me to convert kilograms to grams. I know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So right here, I'm multiplying 65 kilograms times 1,000 grams to figure out how many grams that is. 65 times one is equal to 65, and then I'm adding my three zeros at the end. So it is going to be 65,000 grams in order to convert that. Okay, now we're gonna go on to problem C. For problem C, what I have here is that you are converting your, um, the average height of a female giraffe is 4.6 meters. What is her height in centimeters? So we're trying to figure out what is the height in centimeters. Okay, so what we're doing here is we have 4.6 meters and we're converting it into centimeters. Make sure that you are converting it into centimeters. I know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So we have 4.6 times 100, okay? 
Now I know that 46 times 1 is going to give me 46, add my two zeros at the end, and I get 4,600 centimeters as my final answer, okay? Now for problem D, I have the capacity of a beaker is 0 0.1 liters. Convert this into milliliters, okay? So I know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milli milliliters. So I have 0 0.1 liters, I'm multiplying it times 1,000 milliliters in order to find out how many milliliters I would have. So I'm going to multiply 1 times 1, which is equal to 1, and then I'm going to add my three zeros at the end. So I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Now, for that problem, I know that I am not quite done yet because notice here that in my problem I'm moving my decimal over once. And that's what I'm going to do for my answer as well. So my final answer is 100 milliliters, okay? So I'm not going to ask you guys to write the statement. If you want to, you can, but you do not have to, okay? They're just asking you how. You're basically rephrasing the question in your answer. Um, now for problem E. It says for problem E, a pig weighs 9.8 pounds. Convert the pig's weight to ounces. So we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So in order to find out how much 9.8 pounds is equal to ounces, I'm going to multiply it times 16 ounces. So now I'm multiplying 8 times 6 is equal to 48. 6 times 9 is equal to 54. 54 plus 4 is equal to 58. I'm going to add a 0. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. And 1 times 9 is equal to 9. I'm going to make sure I add all of my numbers together. 8 plus 0 is equal to 8, 8 plus 8 is equal to 16, 9 plus 5 is equal to 15, 15, sorry, 9 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 15. So I get 1,568, but I'm not quite done yet. I need to move my decimal over once because in my problem I moved it over once. So in my answer I will do the same thing. So it's 156.8 ounces. For the last problem, they want you to answer the meters, answer meters into millimeters. So a marker is 0 0.13 meters long. What is the length in millimeters? So one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. So if we have 13 meters or 0 0.13 meters times 1,000 millimeters, I'm going to find out how much that's equal to. 13 times 1 is equal to 13 and then add my three zeros at the end. I need to make sure that I am moving my decimal over twice and my final answer is going to be 130 millimeters, okay? So that is all for today. Make sure you guys are asking me questions in class if you have any.